that here we are in a running store, your running store. Why are we going to be looking at bras today? The reason is, as a runner and a walker, there are three absolute basic needs that you need. You need running shoes, okay. you need socks, correct socks, and you need a good exercise bra. Okay. And not the uniboot bra that you can get anywhere. No. <laughs> so a true bra is going to have encapsulation. Each okay. of the girls will need their own apartments, as we say. <laughs> and then you need compression on top of it. Okay. The Cooper ligament holds up the breast tissue. It starts here and goes back here. Every time we're bouncing, we're losing strength in our Cooper ligament. And so we need a bra that will support that. Okay. So I have brought several in that I have found to compress and pull it in. These are great for running, walking, four-wheeling, horseback riding, dog training. Cool. I would never have thought of those things, but basically anywhere where one might be, shall we say, delicately jiggling around, exactly, you need the support. And okay. if you are a B plus, um, I go from B plus up to double D's and sometimes E's in okay. some of my bras. So this would be one of my stronger ones. It follows the Cooper ligaments. It's a pain to put on, but once you have them in, you are secure. Right. Um, it's for a moderate breast size and you have maximum and the breast tissue can follow all the way back. Right. So for some women, we have what's called the Enel bra. It's a little bigger and it's intimidating. It's one that you will do from the bottom up, but it takes care of the breast tissue even on the sides and pulls it in. And you can do a lot of running, horseback riding, um, out playing baseball, softball in this type of a bra. Okay, anywhere you're keeping the girls under control, yes. like we said. Okay, and what kind of fabric is this? Does this and this one, it, this is slightly different than right. this one, right? Each of my bras are wicking material. And so they breathe. Yes, okay. and it pulls the sweat off of you, so you won't have the salt crystals cre uh, creating blisters in delicate areas. Oh, okay. Well, that's always a plus, I would imagine. <laughs> and depending on height, size, you know, sometimes um, I'm tall, um, but we have women that are very tiny. You need adjustability in the bra strap, just like you use your everyday bra. And a uniboob bra, like this one, you don't have that. Did you say uniboob? Yes. <laughs> That's a great name. <laughs> um, they're just not built for true athletic. It looks like they're an athletic bra, but they're not. So the, now you're talking about the ones that you can just go into a box store and say, hey, give me an athletic bra. Yeah. They're not going to be real right. bras. For, for These the are intense workouts okay. that we are talking about. Okay. What other kinds do you have? Well, I bring in um, several different kinds. We have what's called a shock absorber. We have, these are really for women that are B, solid B pluses right. and larger to take care of their needs. Right. So great place to come if you do, um, and you know, we all need these kind of things, uh, so we should be able to talk about them. This is a great place to come in and talk about them. You're very knowledgeable on this subject, so come on down and get you a good sports bra. Thanks, Heather. Thank you, Susan.